Since March 14, 1950, the FBI's top 10 list has grown into a cultural icon, a list of the baddest of the bad, from terror mastermind Osama bin Laden to an Arizona man who murdered his entire family. They stare out at us from posters and websites. But for the FBI tracking these fugitives, the top 10 list is more than just a collection of wanted posters. The top 10 list is really probably one of the most valuable law enforcement tools that we have. Warren Bamford heads up FBI Boston. He tells me the decision to place a fugitive on the top 10 is not made lightly. What we try and look at is really the seriousness of the crime um, and the type of offender that's involved. Is this, is this a person who continually offends, a career offender? And we also look at the idea that can the media help us? Will publicity help us capture this person? The latest Boston area offender placed on the national top 10, John Shalachi. He made the list September 2007. He was caught in Mexico, June 2008. Salachi was brought into the home of a family in New Hampshire, and while he was in that home, he actually molested their small child. And uh, to the law enforcement community, that was probably one of the most heinous acts that could have taken place. Since 1952, the Boston FBI has placed 21 fugitives on the top 10. 20 have been caught, including Boston cop killer Ted Azuki. In 1987, Azuki shot and killed Boston police officer Roy Serge during a shootout. Clearly, when you have a situation that, that occurred, uh, it, it showed that he was ready to use deadly force at the drop of a hat. Armed and extremely dangerous. Retired agent Jay Fallon worked the Azuki case. Nine months after Azuki made the top ten list, Fallon found him in Mexico. Okay, there, there's nothing worse than taking the life of another and particularly when that person is in law enforcement. It was the highlight uh, of my investigative career, uh, th th there's no doubt. Out of the 21 Boston fugitives who've made the top 10 list over the years, there remains one notable fugitive who has never been caught, South Boston mobster James Whitey Bulger. Special Agent Charge Bamford tells me the Bureau is not giving up the search for Whitey. We continue to get leads, we continue to get information um, that may lead us to him at some point. There is no doubt that uh, he's very elusive, um, but there's also no doubt that we can continue to try and uh, locate him and bring him back. Sixty years ago, former FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover started the Top Ten list as a way to showcase the toughest guys the Bureau was after. 463 arrested fugitives later, the Top Ten list still going strong. In 1950, it started with uh, posters in a post office, and now look where we are with the internet and, and, and uh, satellite communications and, and everything else that goes with that in this day and age. Who knows where it will be uh, 50 or 60 years from now. So far, Whitey Bulger has been on the FBI top 10 list for 11 years. But three other current fugitives, including Osama bin Laden, have been on the FBI top 10 list even longer. By the way, according to the feds, the state of Rhode Island has never placed a fugitive on the FBI's top 10 list. I'm Bob Ward, Fox 25 News.